Following its debut in 2007, the upgraded Fuji circuit, a good 4.5 kilometers long, has the honor of hosting its second Grand Prix. The track's most notable feature is the start-finish straight, a good 1.5 kilometers long. It's taken flat out for over 17 seconds. It has a very, very long straight. Um, so it's a, it's a combination of very tight and twisty corners plus your long straight. So it'll be a compromise uh, for your car setup. So I think whoever reaches the best compromise uh, with the car will have the best result. Part of doing that includes decelerating on the first corner from over 300 kilometers an hour down to 110 and still keeping your nose in front. What follows is the only fast twisting section of the circuit. Turn 3 plus the 180 degree right-hander made up of turns 4 and 5. It's very quick left-hander and right-hander with nearly flat through very long corner. So I think it's going to be quite tough for the neck as well. And uh, yeah, it's very important to have a good exit line because soon after we have a left-hander corner. To be more precise, a tight hairpin, after which it's off at over 290 onto the 300R straight. The difficulty of this circuit thus lies in its variation. Lots of slow corners combined with very fast straights. And in the risk of rain, for just last year the drivers saw their hopes literally drowned in Fuji's rain-swept chaos. I think when it rains it puts something else into the, into the race, you know, you have to manage um, your tyres differently, you have to look out for the puddles and at this race you couldn't see anything so it's, uh, it was a bit of a monopoly, you know, a bit of a, a gamble. And what's more, the surface on the tight uphill S-bands is very slippery, even in the dry. All in all, the drivers overcome a gradient of 36 metres on this track. At the end of the uphill section, the trick is to take the speed with you, despite the blind corners, onto the ultra-long straight. Otherwise, you're easy pickings for rival drivers. Fuji thus offers the ideal conditions for a thrilling 16th Formula One Grand Prix. Now to the current championship standings. Lewis Hamilton has given himself some breathing space with seven points between himself and Massa. The world title seems to be over for Raikkonen. The Silver Arrows have taken over